I'm Miss G, and I'm going to show you a watercolor resist technique using crayons. What you'll need today, paper, crayons, watercolors, a paintbrush, and a cup or bowl of water. First, you're going to start with your crayons. I'm going to show you with a white crayon first. Whenever you're using a crayon, make sure you're pressing hard. You want to get as much of that waxy crayon on your paper as possible. So I'm trying some different colors. Yellow, you can just test it out with some different shapes. I'm trying some blue, and some red, some curvy lines. Now I'm going to take my watercolors. Try to choose a color that's different than the crayon color. So my first white crayon, I'm going to use a dark color. And watch what happens. Ooh, it's like magic. That white crayon resists the watercolor and the water so that you can still see it. So I'm going to try with the yellow crayon. I'm going to try the complementary color, purple. Ooh. I mean, you don't have to use the complementary colors, but those usually look pretty awesome together. Let's get on with the blue. So the complementary color blue is orange. Woohoo! See how that crayon still sticks out. It really pops out at you. So with the red, the complementary color of red is green. All right, and I think I'm gonna try a couple of different colors. Let's try black. I love black. In fact, I'm gonna make some black marks. So you can still paint on top of what you already painted. As long as you don't paint too thick, you can still see that crayon underneath the paint. And it works with light colored paints too. I hope you had fun, and I hope you have fun making more art with some mixed media using watercolors and brands. See you next time.